I want to build a cherry village in my hardcore Minecraft world. But to do this, I'm going to need to get myself tons of cherry logs, then build a bunch of unique houses, and then fill them with villages. Let's do it. Here we are. For this project, I reckon I'm going to need at least one or two shulker boxes filled with cherry logs. So let's get mining. It's just the world we live in, son. People pass by and demolish everything in their way. What did we do to deserve that, Dad? I don't know, my son, but we're stumps now, and there's nothing we can do to change that. Well, I suppose we'd better try and stay positive and make the most of being stumps then. Absolutely, son. Absolutely. Let's collect all these stumps. Bam, all clean. Let's get out of here. So right in this valley here is where I want to build my cherry village. Get rid of these pumpkins. Clear out some grass. Let's place some dirt and make this a better area. Let's also remove some unwanted grass blocks. And heck, I really need to light this place up. And let's just make a plan for the roads of this village. Epic. Let's get some mud and let's make some packed mud. Now let's dig out our paths. Let's just make a mud brick path. Epic. Let's make this town square look nice. And now let's build some houses. I'm going to start us off by building a few smaller cottages. I'm going to be going for a fairly vanilla style. Oh, look at that, we're on day 100. We need to head to the nether because I need nether bricks. The reason why I needed nether bricks is because they go really well with cherry wood. It's about time I built a two-story house, I reckon, because tall buildings are cool. This house is a nice and long one. I love parkouring while I build, it's pretty epic. I really like using bamboo as a floor. Man, I love nether brick roofs. I refuse to sleep, go away making this house hang over a hill a bit and it'll have a nice underground room. I reckon a balcony will look nice out here. Let's make a couple of farmhouses as well. We'll add a fence here to put animals in it. Come here, moo moo cow. Come here, piggy piggies. This house is gonna be the shepherd's house. Let's add a fence here and let us collect some sheepies. Come with me. It's about time I made myself a blacksmith. And let's make another two-story house. Oh, I totally forgot to add garden beds to my farming area. These villagers can live off beetroot because beetroot is purple and so are their houses. This is beginning to look pretty epic but let's touch it up a bit. Starting off by planting a bunch of cherry saplings. Oh I reckon bamboo will fit in around this place pretty well. Oh and let's add some decorated pots I reckon and let's add some basic lamp posts around. Oh these trees act as cool lamp posts. Definitely need to go around and add windows to all the houses. Love to make some hanging signs. I think they're just really cool to have around even when they're blank. I need to set up some guard towers and walls to defend this place. Let's build one tower here and we'll build another tower here. Our third tower can go here. And finally, our fourth tower can go here. Now let's connect these towers with some walls. And I'd like to make these walls out of crimson wood and also crimson fences. That is looking way more protected. Now let's add a bunch of workstations. Put a brewing stand here. Have a couple of grindstones at the blacksmith as well as a blast furnace and a smithing table. We'll have a cauldron here. We'll have a lectern here, here, here and here. Also give some bookshelves. This can be where the Fletchers hang out. The fishermen can hang out next to this pond. The farmers, of course, need to be with the crops. 
put this loom in the shepherd house, put a smoker in here, and let's chuck our cartography table here. Now one thing this village lacks is a local pet. Desert villages have camels. I reckon cherry villages definitely should have sniffers. Are there any ocean ruins around here for me to raid? Let's just drink some night vision. Ah, much better. Greetings! Have any of you fellows got some suspicious sand lying around? There's no sand, but there is gravel. Have you got a sniffer egg for me? Where the heck is all the sand? It turns out that they're only found in warm ocean ruins, which is not where I have been looking. All right. Hello, do you have any sniffer eggs for me, sir? Imagine if the first... Okay, it's not the first. Imagine if the second sand has an egg. Oh my gosh, are you serious? The second sand? <laughs> that was a... There's 6% chance for me to get a sniffer egg and I just got it! Second sand! Look at my big dinosaur eggy. Back to our cherry village we are. Let us pop our sniffy right here. And it will hatch in a jiffy. Oh! It actually- <laughs> It's a snifflet! Hello! Welcome to the world! It genuinely gave me a fright when it hatched. <laughs> I am gonna name the Sniffy after one of you guys who comments in the comments section. Alright, now we need to make ourselves heaps of beds. I'm gonna dye them pink. And we need to add these beds to the houses. And now we can find ourselves a couple of villages and then put our cherry village to the ultimate test. Greetings, Farmer Brian. Would you like to move to a different village? Get in the cherry boat, yes. Isn't this fun, Farmer Brian? Look at the end of this tunnel, you'll see your new home. Welcome to Cherry Village. No, you can't go back, you are here forever now. Hello, Farmer Dylan. Do 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 do. Welcome both of you to your new home, Cherry Village. There is no going back, you are here forever now. Oh my gosh, a baby! They grow up so fast. Yes, make another one. Heck yeah. All right, now that we've got a few villagers settled into the village, it's time to put our cherry village to the ultimate test. We need to see if our cherry village can survive a raid. May I speak to your leader? You are dead. And I am out of here. See you later. Cherry village, it's time for you to prove your worth. Oh my gosh, they've spawned in the village? No! Oh yes, Iron Golem. Hello, welcome. Come right here. You guys don't die on me, all right? I can't believe they're spawning in the village. All right, they're coming from this direction now. There they are. Hello. Be gone. Oh dear. They're inside the walls again. And there's a Ravager. Come here. Die. Okay, new wave. Oh, there they are, outside the wall. Good. Be gone, be gone, farewell. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal is to not have to use my totem. You are dead. Okay, that's a big wave. Be gone. <gasps> yes, I got the evoker. I'm coming for that totem. Let's get it. Woo. Another wave far out. Where's this one coming from? Okay, they're over here. Be gone, raiders. They're so fast, I can't shoot them. Oh, what a shot! Heck yeah! I just killed your most powerful acquaintance. How does it feel to lose? Let's see. Oh dear. Okay. Oh my gosh, three magic wizard dudes. Ah! I hate these things! Get away from me! Go away, vexes! Oh my gosh. Ah, there's so many vexes! Okay, I got the last wizard. No, I didn't. There's another one. What? Yes, got him. Get away from my sniffer, man. Oh my. I'm not wearing my armor. Die. Yeah! Let's go! We did it. We did it, everyone. Did anyone die? Everyone survived. Heck yeah! And straight to bed, like, all right. Show's over, good night. <laughs> now I've got another five totems. That's pretty epic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to watch me collect all of the armor trims in hardcore, click this video. In the meantime, I will see you later. Goodbye.